Uh-oh. So NZXT is getting into the microphone market, and apparently as part of their launch strategy, they've sponsored a short circuit unboxing. Good choice, NZXT. Let's go ahead and get this thing opened up. You know, I'm gonna do kind of a classic unboxing on this one. We're gonna start with the box. I know, right? I never do this. Designed for gamers, fair enough. High quality audio, 24 bit, sure, yep. USB analog to digital conversion. I would certainly hope so, given it's either gonna be a USB microphone with an analog to digital converter in it, or it's gonna be an XLR microphone, which wouldn't do a very good job of simple. There you go. Because that's apparently one of their key selling points for the capsule, is that it is completely plug and play, including even being tuned to 50% gain right out of the box. There's no software utility, no driver installation, you just plug it in and go. Build the extraordinary. That's right, not just a little bit ordinary. This is extraordinary. I, I know that's not what it means. Three meter cable. The idea here is that if you wanna mount it to a boom arm or something like that, you're not going to have any issues with it. And that's a really nice feeling sheath. Feels like a high quality cable. Wanna know something cool? I no longer have to take anyone's word for it. Fetch me my cable tester. While we wait for that, let's have a look at what else is in here. We've got a quarter 20 to three eighths inch mounting adapter. So this is gonna be if you wanna mount it to a boom arm or some other kind of base. But the whole idea is that with no assembly whatsoever, you don't have to do any of that. You can just plunk it right down onto your desk. It has an integrated pop filter. So it's a side address microphone. Just a little something like that. Cardioid pickup pattern. Oh, I should probably show how the, uh, Whoops, ah, come back. Well, something like that. Got a microphone jack right there, so that's for monitoring your own audio. You can also just use it as your audio interface if you want. USB type C, so that's the single connection that we're going to use, ah, after we determine that this cable's okay. I think they did a really great job of the look. Thanks, Colin. Why are we whispering UFO studio? Um, I'm just, I'm just excited. Just go like this, and like this, and it'll tell us. Uh-oh. Oh, you know what? It's okay. So we can see here that our continuity is good, our signal integrity is good, and the only problem we have is DC resistance. You know, all the pins are mapped correctly, everything there is good, but there's too much resistance, which makes sense because this is a three meter long USB 2 cable. What that means is that if you had a very high draw device at the end that's close to the maximum of what USB 2 can support, you might not be able to power it properly with this cable and it might drop in and out intermittently. Looking at the bottom of the unit, it asks for five volts, one and a half amps, which means I would actually say that NZXT might be flying a little close to the sun with this long of a USB 2 cable. Theoretically, they've validated it with this particular microphone, so it hopefully shouldn't cause any problems, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. That's cool. Here I was unscrewing this whole thing and getting really confused. Ah, what you actually do is, there we go. Okay, that's way better, that's awesome. And this is just to make it look way cleaner if you wanna mount it with a, with a boom arm. Not right now though, right now, we're just gonna use the stock stand. Now we shall see just how plug and play it can be. Poor NZXT, they're all like, but we included a long cable so people could, could route it around the things. And I'd be like, your wrong cable has too much resistance. Two separate knobs. The one on the bottom is for your headphone monitoring. The one on the top is for your microphone gain and that's it. Real simple. It's funny, they say truly plug and play, but are they ready for Linus level loudness here? I'm definitely peaking a little bit here, so let's go ahead and get the microphone adjusted down a little bit. This is a nice touch. I like these little grips on the knobs. They're super easy to grab onto, even though they're quite small. Still coming in a little bit hot. We're gonna wanna be right around that red zone in OBS in order to get the uh, best balance of loudness for the stream while not, while not peaking and causing that uh, that crackly sound. I'm recording right now and I'm moving it around a little bit. It does have an internal shock mount, so we just wanna see how much, if any of that, we're going to hear in the recording. Normally, you shouldn't be manhandling your microphone while you're talking into it, but 
if you're gaming in particular, which is who they're targeting with this product, then it's it's not uncommon for you to be moving around or, or, or bump your table a little bit. And if, the, if you have a microphone that picks up all of that noise, it's going to be pretty unpleasant. Speaking of all of that noise, the G915 isn't exactly the loudest keyboard on the market, but it's not designed to be specifically super quiet either. So let's go ahead and just make some clickety clacking noises, kind of where it would be relative to the microphone. Kind of more like over here, I guess. All right, so that's what you can kind of expect if you're click, click, clickety clacking behind your microphone. And then the last thing I wanted to check was if you had a boom arm and you're able to get the mic a little bit closer to your mouth, this is really where you'd want a microphone of this style for the best possible recording quality. Just gonna keep turning that down. And this is what I would expect this bad boy to sound like mounted a little bit closer to your mouth. So if you want more of like that radio voice sound, then, you know, get your boom arm, get it set up here. And it also keeps it off your desk and out of your way for your keyboard and mouse as well. Not bad. Surprisingly little of that is coming through in my monitoring. That's pretty cool. And that's it, that's all. This is our unboxing of the NZXT capsule. You can find it linked down in the video description. Thanks NZXT for sponsoring this video and to you for watching it. Subscribe to Short Circuit. Yay.